columnist Katie Hopkins joins me now. You think he's going to win? I think he's going to win. I think you guys are in for a big surprise, which I'm quite excited about. I think we've seen a very similar thing here in the UK with Brexit. We saw a lot of the liberal press kind of sneering at Brexiteers. We saw a lot of the sneering that we see from the Clinton News Network. And I think it's something we That's can... That's CNN. You're calling us the Clinton News Network. That's exactly correct. And Why? All of Why do you polls... call us the Clinton News Network? Because when we earlier on prominently evening, featured a Florida poll that showed evening. Donald Trump had a couple of points. And earlier on this evening on Twitter, you were telling me, oh, Cl Hillary Clinton has a 12-point lead. And now you're having to look at yeah. Florida polls showing a two-point lead. But those are two different... very hard for you. They're entirely different things. One is a national poll that showed she had one poll that showed she had a 12-point lead, others show a 9-point lead. Nationally, I mean, she's been ahead for weeks. I think we're all very bored of the polls. I think none of us need to take any notice of them whatsoever. We learned that in the UK with Brexit. We learned it indeed with our general election. What I will mm -hmm. say, having sat in the Republican convention in Cleveland and watched your news network, mm -hmm. it is entirely biased, I think, in coverage. And I think Trump's doing a great job. And I think what we saw today from him opening but that hotel was super Because you thing. keep making these accusations, and quite frankly, you cannot back them Because up. you just said, I'll just give you an example you just straight off the bat of what you just said. No, I won't no, let you finish. No, no, I no, want no, to uh, ask you your question. No, no, you said I can't can, back them up. I'm you can't back go them ahead up. and back them up then. Thank because you. I've worked for 18 years and I can tell you nothing but balance. So you were just saying how Trump really struggles with women. You guys seem to love to present us women, and I'm vaguely a woman, um, as victims. Mm -hmm. I don't see myself as a victim. Many women, hard-working women, don't see themselves as victims. And we could also look at other polls that say 70% of individuals find Clinton to be utterly distasteful. I find her way, abhorrent to look at. Her little smile there does nothing for me. So but as Katie Hopkins, nobody's saying like everybody her. loves Hillary Clinton. Well, I think you it. just did. Women, Absolutely you said not. women love Hillary. Women do not love Hillary Clinton. I never Clinton. said that. Okay, You're literally you misquoting me. Tell, tell me your quote. I gave you a gave poll where she had a 12-point advantage over, uh, uh, over Donald CNN Trump with poll. the female. They really are meaningless. This, Move on from polls. I'm bored of your polls. Okay, but you just quoted something I said that Give was me, completely tell me the correct. incorrect. Tell me the correct quote. That women love Donald uh, no. Hillary Clinton? Oh, wrong word there. Clinton. When did I say you, you that? You love Clinton, remember, not Trump. This, this conversation is actually going completely off the rails because it seems like we've just entered a post-fact world where no matter what we say to you, we are. you will actually deny facts and then fabricate quotes and put them in my mouth. I How think where we, even... where we now sit in politics is in a world of post-truth politics where we surround ourselves with the truth that we want to hear. People echo, enter an echo chamber and hear the stuff they said back to them that they want to hear, which is why That's... people that support Clinton listen to you and why people that support Cl uh, Trump might listen to me or Fox, for example. Anyway, oh. do ask me some questions you want to ask. Sure, let's talk about Brexit because, no, first let me ask you about your support for Donald Trump. What is it about the things that he says. Why do you support Donald Trump? Because you're sitting here in Britain. Of course, you were pro-Brexit and all those things, and you have said some absolutely vicious and disgusting things about For immigrants. Example, you've called them cockroaches. You've said they were feral. Uh, you've said I suicidal said should turn inmates back should just go ahead and kill themselves. I think we should turn People back the People with dementia are blocking beds. So absolutely disgusting things. In your, in your opinion, is it's disgusting. In my opinion, well, I speak the anybody, truth. We, we anybody who calls an, a human being a cockroach... I don't think you speak for everybody, darling. ...says something Move along with your disgusting question. in many people's words. What? Why do you support Donald Trump? It's, it's, because for me, as a small business owner, he really speaks to me and the people like me that work mm. hard for a living. He gets things done. I think we've just seen Obamacare. It crucifies small business owners. You're going to get more of that with Hillary Clinton. You're not going to get that with Trump. And I think that's very important. He also gets stuff done. What we've seen with Clinton, essentially, she's just the wife of an ex-president. She was there supporting her husband whilst he was in the Oval Office with Monica Lewinsky on her knees next okay, to him. That's well, we're going to get a strong a, woman I need. You're going to cut me off because no, I said not at all. You just said she's someone's wife when she off? was Secretary of State. But... She was someone's wife and he had affairs in the Oval Office and she stood by him. That is not a strong woman for me, honey. Let's, uh, but if you, if, if you call me honey, that is just very You find that hard? Okay, no, what would you like me to call you? Rude. All right. Well, let's get this back on track. Brexit. Why did you support Brexit? Keeping migrants out of Britain? Was that the main I, reason? No, not immigration is the main reason. I'm a big fan. I was in the British Army. I'm a big fan of the British forces. It's another reason why I support Trump, actually, because I think he will stand up for our yeah. service personnel. And actually, for Brexit, it was about taking back control 
taking back sovereignty. Mm -hmm. And our state broadcaster actually was very biased in their reporting and coverage of Brexit. They did not believe that Brexit would win. Mm -hmm. They found it very difficult to admit that we won. And I find your coverage to be very similar with Trump. All right, we're going to leave it there. Katie Hopkins, that was interesting. It's interesting to speak to someone with your views uh, and to sort of try to figure out where they come from. Thanks very much My uh, for joining us.